It was too cold to fly the drone, so I thought I would try something different and do a short tour of the town of Bentley, Alberta. Uh, on the right side, you see the Cross-Eyed Giraffe Cafe. I had already eaten breakfast at my hotel in Red Deer, so I didn't stop in here today, but the sign alone is enough to make me want to come back. Next up is the Bentley Rose, a Chinese and Western cafe. Every good Canadian prairie town needs a Chinese and Western cafe, and Bentley is no exception. And finally, the Monkey Top Saloon, which appears to be housed in a awesome old hotel. I didn't get a chance to learn much about the history of this building, but I'll bet it's an interesting one. So that's it for Main Street. Now, I call it Main Street, but officially it's 50th Avenue. Like many towns north of Red Deer, the numbering system usually has 50 as the main road. For the historical explanation, you can check out the link in the video description below. There's an old school here, uh, sitting next to the municipal office in Bentley. And more importantly, it has a plaque on it. And if we've learned anything over the years, it's always read the plaque. I'll save you some reading and give you the short version. The school uh, was built in 1920 at a cost of $12,000, featured two classrooms and a chemistry lab at the back, which is somewhat unique. There were a couple of other places I checked out while walking around town. The Bentley Community Hall was built in 1927 and based upon the looks of things still gets a lot of use right up to this day. I also checked out the Bentley Fire Station. I would discover later in the day there's a newer and larger facility on the east end of town, so this one appears to only be used for storage now. So this old service station caught my attention and I went to take a picture of it. And then as I uh, was walking by I noticed a plaque. Always read the plaque. So the building currently houses a chiropractic office, but was originally built in 1916 as a service station. It was also where the first power in Bentley was generated, using two 12-cylinder stationary engines. Uh, that lasted until Calgary Power came to Bentley in 1935. Wow! It is super cold out there right now. So we're back in the car. We're going to warm up a bit here. There's two other things I want to check out in town. Uh, number one, there is a sign for the Bentley Museum, which being that it's, you know, 830 in the morning and it's March, I fully expect will be closed, but I want to check it out just to see what it looks like for a future trip. And I also noticed on the drive into town, the elevator has an old Alberta Wheat Pool logo, faint on the one side. So I want to swing by and take a look at that before we head out of town. There we are. There's the Bentley Museum in behind me. As expected, it's closed. From what I was able to discover online, the museum is housed inside this 1924 farmhouse and an additional building. And as I mentioned, I stopped by the elevator on my way out of town. This one was apparently built to replace a previous elevator which burnt down in 1976. Well, that's it for my tour of Bentley. This is a very different approach to video making for me. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a comment and let me know what you thought.